And welcome to Hero Power. I am your host, Avantes, and as always, I'm joined by my co-host, Zoroshio. What is up, gang? I am exhausted. Um, Me too. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of getting into my week. Um, I it, We've hit peak season at my second job, with which is with FedEx. So everybody has to work a mandatory six days a week. And I just did my sixth day. This is my one and only day off. Uh, but aside from that, um, there's been so much to do in Hearthstone. Any moment I've had to play Hearthstone, it's like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Play a little duels, play a little bat battlegrounds, got to do my mercenary stuff, uh, you know, playing decks. I'm I'm up to Diamond 7, and I haven't played that much, but uh, the, the meta and standard is fun. It's good. Pirate Warrior's a lot of fun. This Death Rattle uh, uh, Priest... Uh, you know, resurrect priest is is a lot of fun. Um, there's some rogue decks that are fun. I'm, I'm just having fun. Yeah. But I'll, I'll I'll queue up a game or two. I'll go on a winning streak and and I'll finish my quest. And I'm like, okay, my quests are done. I have to go do something else now. I can't play standard anymore because you know not the enough Diablo's time. Gonna, Diablo's uh, going to be gone and be at Battleground soon. And I got to get my, my mercenaries leveled up because the Coin Can See Listener Series is doing mercenaries. So I got to get them up so I can get my teams ready next week. Uh, uh, duels is, uh, man, I'm really loving duels right now with all the changes and, and Diablo there. Uh, just so much. And I'm not even touching uh, Arena. I want to, but yeah. there just isn't enough time. Yeah, no, I, I and agree. Then, and then... We've got a new set literally right around the corner soon. We don't know. Soon TM. We don't yeah. know. We'll talk more about that later. But, uh, and, and now I'm hearing, you know, we got some balance changes coming, which we'll talk about. But so I'm just tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired in, in the out of Hearthstone sense. I'm tired from the Hearthstone sense. This is, it's a good thing you know, kind of question mark. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, I'm right there with you. I am uh, wore out. This is, this is supposed to be the lull. <laughs> we get a lull. We get, we get the last master's tour. Yeah. We get to watch that when that's happening next week. Uh, then we you, get, you, you some, know what happened some... though, right? What? Pe people complained about the lull. So blizzard was like, uh -huh. Oh, you 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 don't want a lull? We'll fix that. That we'll give you so much stuff, you can't possibly keep up with it all. Now tell us hey, you're bored. They they, they were not... treating us like children. You have all these things to play with, and you're bored. <laughs> well, here's the thing: we had the delay of Mercs. Mercs was supposed to come out in February and didn't come out to what? What was it? October? August? Uh, October? No, no, no. It, it was yeah, announced it was, in it August. Was, yeah, October twelfth. September. So it was. Was it? Was it? I don't, I don't remember. See, I don't even uh, remember. Yeah. The mini set got delayed because of a lot of that. There was also the litigation stuff and all the legal stuff going on. It's still going on with Blizzard and, and uh, uh -huh. that stuff. Mercenaries is a month old yesterday. Okay, so you know, it was October 12th then. Okay. It's just, right now we kind of, this is normally Blizz, we had just got done with BlizzCon We'd heard what the next set is. This would be the time where we talk, where we would normally talk about what the new set announced was, and that we'll probably start getting cards out maybe the end of next week. But we're shotgunning Hearthstone. Yeah, they're. I mean, they're they're giving us a, a triple shot glass, a triple sec, and just we're we're blasting through this. Uh, but enough about me. We're not even in the news yet. How was your week? Um, didn't we <laughs> okay. just record an episode? Like, is it time to record again already? I swear. Yeah. It was like yesterday. Oh. Oh. Okay. One more thing before we get to you. I'm sorry. I, I, I got, this is a little personal, but, uh, I thought I'd be late for show today because I had to go shopping today. 
A lot of people have asked me about this, and I'll go ahead and talk about it here if you don't mind. No, uh, please. It's it's an impressive accomplishment. You should talk about it. I had a last December. I had a big medical announcement that I needed to really fix myself, or I might not have made it through this year uh, uh, with my health. And I hit it really hard. I lost a lot of weight. I'm down over sixty pounds. And I'm gaining a lot of muscle mass from my second job and, and you know, my workout regimen before that. Um, I, for the first time, decided I needed to get new pants because they're literally falling off of me. Uh, and I was in a size 48 waist, and I am now in a 42. That's awesome. And, and I, I've been holding off buying new pants because... I'm losing weight. I'm, I'm just going to have to buy more, buy more, buy more. But uh, now it just had to be done. So I'm really proud of myself. And uh, I just wanted to kind of, you know, give myself a little pat on the back and and let people know if you're having health issues, uh, tackle them. Get them taken care of. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Yeah. Uh, because I, I have some of the lowest drive to do things like that. And it's it's really, it, it I feel great you know, with the changes to my lifestyle. So, but enough about that. That was just kind of a big kind of carrot. I wanted to be proud it, it, of. It's a, it's a big deal. I'm proud of you, man. But, uh, yeah. How was your week? Uh, so, uh, it's been so crazy, uh, between, you know, we're, we're gearing up for the holiday season at work. We're fixing to go into code freeze, meaning, you know, everything has to be done this week. Can't have, you know, any, pro can't do any changes to production systems after this week. So I've been really busy with work stuff. Um, my secondary job, uh, the semester's winding down. So we've got students taking comps and getting ready to graduate. And so I've been busy there. I haven't really had a whole lot of time to play anything this week. Um... I, I can, you know, I, I think I might have mentioned it at one point. I don't know if I did or not, but uh, Versica and I have launched another podcast. Um, we yeah. recorded episode zero this week and uh, posted it. So it's out there in the wild. It's called uh, Snakes and Foxes podcast. Um, it is a podcast about the uh, Robert Jordan, Brandon Sanderson book series, The Wheel of Time. Which, which you're a huge fan of. I know growing up with you in, in high school, that was you always I, had that in your I backpack. Started you all, reading, reading. I started reading the book series for the first time. So the first book came out in 1991, and I mm -hmm. picked it up and started reading it circa 1997 and the the final book in the series came out in 2013 and i have read and reread the entire series every year um since then uh it's it's my favorite book series of all time and amazon is adapting it into its own television series which starts next friday Cool. So, See, so the premise of the show is you're going to be talking about each episode each week, right? Correct. Yeah. So each episode will be titled after the name of the episode on television. It's kind of a companion series to the television series as uh, Versica and I are going to be breaking down each episode of the series and talking about how it corresponds to the books, how they're similar, dissimilar, they changed this, they took this straight from the source material, and, and we're going to talk about, you know, um, the series as a whole. So, fair warning, if you download the episodes and listen to it before watching the episodes, there will be spoilers. Uh, there could be spoilers for the books. Um, but it's, it's just something... There's, there's only eight episodes in the first season, so there'll only be eight episodes of the podcast to start, and then uh, they've already greenlit and started filming season two, so we'll be awesome. back for season two as well. That's, 
that's awesome. It's it's good to see you're doing some projects on the side. Uh, and I know I, I, I do know the wheel of time series is, you've been always been passionate about it. I've never gotten into it myself. You've tried to get me into it multiple times, uh, but I'm not much of a reader as a yeah. lot of people know, but let's uh, enough about uh, our weeks and our projects, but uh, let's get into news. Yeah. We got a little bit to talk about today. Not a whole lot, but a well, little, well, not a whole lot when it comes to quantity, but there's a lot to talk about. Okay. Well, tell us about, uh, the supposed balance patch we're going to see next week. So they haven't done an official patch blog or anything yet, which kind of leads us to think there's going to be more in the patch than just the balance changes. Because normally, if it's just a palette patch for balance changes, we'd see patch notes probably Friday with all this detail. But all we saw was a forum post. There's going to be four cards impacted by a balance change coming up. Um... The first one is Razor Main Battle Guard, which is a 2-3 uh, minion that reduces the cost of your first taunt by 2 mana. It's changing into a 2-2. Two, two. Okay, so they're reducing its health by 1. Uh, so that's... A lot of people have said that that's not a very impactful nerf. However, the fact that Razor Main Battle Guard is almost always played... Uh, and then followed up with a taunt, man, mm -hmm. minions didn't get to it very easily. So you had to use direct damage, over-the-top damage that could get through a taunt. And to do three damage that early in the game on turn two or three is difficult, and where two isn't as difficult. Yeah, I can think of like three or four cards right off the top of my head that do two, two damage immediately. And I, th I think Blister Guy said it best, is that the one thing about the taunt, uh, the token taunt, druid is that it has this weird break point where classes like uh, like demon hunter have trouble against it because that early they can do damage they can do two damage across the board but they can't do three well now you can do the two damage and deal with the battle guard and then you're not going to be flooded with a bunch of cheap taunts the next turn mm -hmm. so i think this is an impactful uh impactful nerf i don't necessarily think it was one of the best decks in the format right now it was good it was a good solid tier two deck uh but with the other nerfs happening it might have made that deck into a tier one deck yeah yeah so the I, next one do you want to talk about it I, I think this one is a little more impactful than the razor man yes. battle guard and that's Arcanist Dawn Grasp, uh, which is the Mage Quest Line final reward. So, whenever you played Arcanist Dawn Grasp, Battle Cry was for the rest of the game, your spells have spell damage plus three. However, they are reducing that. So, it's going to say for the rest of the game, you're, you have spell damage plus two. So, you know, okay, you're saying. Minus one spell damage, what is that really going to do? But when right now your opponent is casting three or four spells to burst you down, now they might have to cast five. Yeah, uh, I do think this is impactful. I don't honestly think the damage specifically is the main problem. Uh, I think it's the impact of cram session. Oh, okay. Uh, because the, the, the plus two, plus three breakpoints, when you actually factor in what spells they play, usually they're overkilling by five or six damage anyways. Yeah, yeah. But it's the, it's the ability to refill their hand. So for cram session, cram session is a two-mana arcane spell for mage. It says draw one card, improve by spell damage. So in a lot of cases, you were drawing four cards for two mana. Well, now you'll only be drawing three. Right. And you might say, well, two mana for three cards is good. Yes, it is. But it's not as good as four. <laughs> That's... And that, that fourth what, card what might was, have been what, When we first started this podcast, all the way back in 2015, we said, card draw is king. Doesn't matter what 
game it is. It could be Hearthstone, yep. it could be Magic, it could be Pokemon. Card draw is king. And I believe that that exact uh, uh, quote was 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 brought up by Versica. That was always his big thing: is card draw is king. Yeah. And the reason classes like Hunter were having problems early early days of Hearthstone was because they didn't have card draw, exactly. and you had to play things like Face Hunter because you couldn't have enough card draw to last through the mid game. So you had to play aggressive strategies with those decks that didn't have a lot of card draw. And then in aggressive strategies, card draw made it even better. Mm -hmm. So cram session going down by one, it might be sure the spell damage might be that one extra spell you have to play, but that's one less draw they can get. Right. And in a lot of cases, I'll see somebody draw a cram session. They'll start playing the spells they drew. And I'm like, Oh, they only need one more card to finish off lethal. Hopefully they didn't draw it and they got it. Well, now yeah. they won't have it because it'll be one less card they draw. It might push it into one more turn where you can heal up or sustain or whatever you have to do to come back. Um, so I think the effect to cram session is more important than just the raw damage from the spells. Okay. All right. Uh, tell us about the next card change. So the next uh, nerf, quote unquote, is to Grote. Uh, it, it reads, deal two damage to the enemy hero, shuffle three bleeds into your deck that do two more for when drawn. And those are one mana spells. Not that it matters too much because they uh, they cast when they're drawn. Well, it's being changed to deal two damage to the enemy hero, shuffle two bleeds into your deck that deal two more when drawn. So all the damage is staying the same, but you get two less bleeds in the deck. Now, where this deck was very, very uh, successful was they would eat through their entire deck, drawing all their support cards and their sustain cards and cards to clear the board. And then they would play a combination of cards to get some spell damage and then shuffle a bunch of uh, bleeds into their deck and then play something that drew them one card. Yeah. And then it would draw a bleed. It would cast its damage. Draw a bleed, cast the damage. Well, now you're going to have a total of two less bleeds in the deck because of the two garotes. Yeah. So instead of having, you know, two garotes and then six more bleeds, there'll only be four more bleeds in the deck. Uh, I, to be honest, from what I've read on Vicious Syndicate and a lot of the aggregate sites that give data, Garote Rogue was only really impactful at very, very high legend. And with competitive players, because it has what they call a high, high, you know, high skill cap, high mm -hmm. skill ceiling, where you have to be very skilled to be successful with the deck. Uh, I haven't played this deck much. I did try it a couple times and didn't do well, probably because I'm not that skilled with Rogue. Uh, I don't think it's going to impact most players that play in the diamond to mid, even even you know. 1500 legend range uh it's probably only going to impact you if you play in maybe the top 500 legend right 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 so let's talk about this last card change and a, a lot of you will remember recently the campaign to hashtag delete priest so apparently it was rather effective um According to uh, the Vicious Syndicate Data Reaper report for last week, November 2nd through the 9th, Priest is at the bottom of all classes for all games played uh, at like 5%. I mean, it's just, they, 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 I guess you could say they listened and hashtag deleted Priest, but I don't think it was intentional. So, uh, with this, with this last change, we are going to see, uh, the, the priest spell renew, which is, um, which is a, hang on, I gotta get Zeroshio back. There we go. I, I'm sure you said hashtag delete priest. Not hashtag delete Zeroshio. Yeah, not hashtag delete zero show. Yeah, yeah, I, th that was worse than before. It completely dropped. Yeah. And so I was saying, uh, I was telling the listeners uh, that basically, you know, the hashtag delete priest now, according to the latest Vicious Syndicate Data Reaper report, 
from last week sees Priest at the very bottom of all classes at only like 5%. Uh, and yeah. so, you know, maybe they took the delete Priest hashtag too far. But this this new car, or this, this new change to Renew, which was a two-mana... Uh, it was two-mana um, heal three... Uh, discover a spell yep. is now going to be one mana heal three discover a spell that seems like a pretty strong power level increase for this card yeah i mean so this 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 is a nerf reversion so renew used to be one mana and they've nerfed it to two mana because of control priest yeah. And now they're going back to one mana because the problem that Priest has now, and if you want to call it a problem, I don't think it's a problem, <laughs> is, is uh, Control Priest can't really be played very well. Right. Or at all. The, the Control Priest decks just don't match up. The way to play Priest is Shadow Priest, and you can't put Renew in Shadow Priest. Yeah, yeah. Because it true. breaks the deck. Yep. Because it's a holy spell. So why not revert the nerf to renew because a lot of the cards that made Control Priest so oppressive last year have rotated out. So reverting the nerf back to one mana and increasing the viability of that card. Now, I play Priest right now. I'm playing a, a, a Death Rattle Resurrect Priest. I'm playing a Priest that's not Shadow Priest. And I do put renew in that deck. Because for two mana, just to discover a spell, if anything, is good. And the fact that it has the three healing is is, is just a bonus. Mm -hmm. So basically, you're paying two mana, which is the same as your hero power, to heal for one more and discover a spell. Yes, please. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And now I'm going to go back to one mana? This is going to be great. Now, this is my only worry. <laughs> we have a new set coming out soon probably within the next month. And whenever we have new cards come in, it you always have the viability to bring con that oppressive, grindy control priest back. That's true. So I'm wondering if this buff, if this nerf reversion is not even really a buff. This, this nerf reversion is a little... Too Hasty? premature? Yeah. yeah, I think it might be a little premature. Maybe they should have let the new set come out and then see. Unless unless this is designed to, to help the new set coming out. Maybe they have specific cards that grab one drops or do something with one cost spells. Or maybe it's to water down or to... to, to so yeah, to water down the two mana spot. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's too many good spells at two mana. They didn't want renew in there. I don't know. They're, we're just speculating at this point. Uh, but I do like this change, and I'm going to take advantage of it I, as soon as the patch hits. Now, according to they didn't give an exact date. They said that the patch is going to hit before Masters Tour Undercity, which is is November 19th through 21st. That's mm -hmm. this coming weekend. And so because of that, a lot of people are speculating the nerfs are going to hit on a patch on Tuesday of uh, the 16th. Which kind of makes sense if you do the math. The only other time they would drop the patch would be a, a Thursday, the 18th, which, which would give virtually no time. Actually, it, it would give almost no time for deck submissions because i think deck submissions have to be done by midnight wednesday yeah for masters tour because they do the start the, they do the beginning play uh on the thursday and then if i'm not mistaken and then they oh no i'm thinking of grandmaster no, maybe it's gonna be thursday night that submissions have to be in but still that'd be too short yeah yeah you're not gonna have for, enough i'm thinking grandmaster to test and make changes so yeah so i think that means we're gonna get a patch on the eight on the 16th and then uh they'll have you know the rest of that day the 17th and then probably the 18th to to finalize testing and then get their deck submitted for masters tour uh, under city which i'm excited for because i love 
when they do balance changes right before a Masters Tour, because that means the meta has to change. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the first glimpse we're going to see of a true meta shift. Right. Um, then here's my here's my speculation with the time, though. So Friday, I was expecting a blog post that ma that mapped out the patch and what's going to be in it and all of these balance changes. And then anything else they were going to adjust with battlegrounds or mercenaries or whatever they're going to do. But we didn't get that. Which makes me think we're not going to get a actual patch notes until Tuesday morning. Okay. Maybe Monday afternoon. And I think we might get a uh, first glimpse at the new set coming out? Maybe. Um, so, you know, we don't really talk about rumors on this show very much. No. But, there was a possible leak from Eurogamer Italy this week. Um, and this was brought to us by Out of Cards. Yeah, and, and I'm not going to talk about the card because we don't know if the name is correct. We don't know much about it other than it's a Shaman Legendary. Mm -hmm. And uh, they they do talk. Uh, they, there is mention of the next set potentially being Alterac Valley, which would be interesting. We had... And we and have... that does corroborate a, a previous leak that uh, in data mines that out of cards supposedly found. Yes. Um, so here here's my thing. Um, and I am going to talk about the card a little bit, nothing in detail. Uh, they have an image of a card that's clearly in, in Italian, and they have a translated English version. Uh, and they put in the name Fluffy Frost Bear, which is fairly common for temporarily translated names. The problem is this is a legendary. And usually with legendaries, the translation doesn't come to something that general. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it usually has like a, a, an exact name, which I'm not, they didn't show us that part of it. So this could be a fan made card. It do, the image itself kind of looks fan made ish, but again, this could have been out of cards using their, template to make a translated version so that's why it looks like this uh also the the symbol the symbol looks interesting on the what, what they showed us of the italian version it has like a little flag on it it looks like the capture of the flags it, it from does. yeah from the from the alteric valley but the english version doesn't so i i I think this might be a little creative liberties with out of cards creating the English version. So I'm not going to even read what the text of that card is because it probably is not 100% accurate just because of translation alone, not because their information is not accurate, right, right. Uh, which, again, we don't know if that's the case or not. Uh, but if it is Alteric Valley, are you excited? I am, actually. Um, uh, you know, we had... We had Barons, we had Stormwind, and now we're getting what is potentially a battleground in WoW for you know, where the Horde and the Alliance come to blows. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm kind of excited about this and interested to see uh, see what this set could bring. I wanted it to be Wintergrasp. Only because Wintergrasp had vehicles. Okay. And I wanted some kind of vehicle, like a new card type. And and that was kind of my idea with Wintergrasp. And and Wintergrasp and Alteric Valley are very similar. Wintergrasp was a horde versus alliance PVP zone. It's a it's a it's a it's a PVP world zone, not just an instant zone. Uh so I would have liked Wintergrasp myself, but I, I'm perfectly fine with Alteric Valley if that's the case. Uh I'm 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 excited for I'm excited for a new set that tells this story more. Yeah. Because we've we've heard the stories of the horde characters, the horde mercenaries and the alliance mercenaries and we've been teased that we may see hero cards this set. Mhm. Mm uh it hasn't been 
been officially confirmed, but imagine if all nine of the merc oh I'm sorry, all ten of the mercenaries became hero, hero cards. Hero cards like they did back in uh uh Frozen Throne. And maybe we have Horde and Alliance themes. Oh, that would be cool. And here's my thing. So in Mercenaries, there is some call outs to buffs in the in the bounties for Alliance characters and Horde characters. Maybe the reason there's not a visible denoter between Horde and Alliance is because there's going to be a Horde and Alliance theme uh, in Mercenaries. Back to the game. And with that comes, uh, you know, more changes to Mercenaries. Yeah. You know, may maybe we'll actually see a Horde and Alliance banner on the mercenaries as well as maybe Horde and Alliance banners on constructed cards. Yeah, you know, who knows? I don't know. That'd be really cool to have some actual Horde and Alliance bias in in the in the actual expansion set in yeah. the set. And we've learned that third sets in the year tend to push the envelope. Remember Kobolds versus uh, 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 uh goblins and no, not goblins, goblins no, versus gnomes. Kobolds and Catacombs. Oh, Kobolds and Catacombs, yeah. Kobolds and Catacombs had, you know, the weapons, and they kind of pushed the envelope when it came to different things. And these third sets, aside from Main Street's Gadget Stand, which they technically did, the you know, the three, the tri-class stuff was pushing the envelope. It just didn't hit well. Mm -hmm. These third sets, they can kind of do stuff that break, that break things, because it's going to be in standard the least amount of time. Right. Uh, so hopefully they do something like that. Now, let's talk about timing real quick before we move on to the play portion. Um, if they put in a, a patch on Tuesday and they announce the name and theme of the new set, do you think that would take away from un a Masters Tour Undercity? No. Okay. If they gave us some cards from the set like maybe 9 to 12 cards do you think that would take away from Master Store Under City? No. See I think it would. So my thing is you might lose enough people who are not watching Masters Tour Under City because they're looking at the new cards. You could probably count those people on one hand. I really don't think it's going to make a difference. They did a tournament once. I think it was a Masters Tour. It might have been a playoff where they announced balance changes that were happening that next Tuesday on like the Thursday or Friday before. Mm -hmm. And then there was a Masters Tour. I think it might have been just a playoff. I think it was before the Masters Tour. And all weekend, all you saw, all you read about in the discords was, oh, I can't wait till this nerf happens. I can't wait till this change happens. I, oh, this tournament's boring to watch. I, you know, And I worry that if they gave us some card... Now, if they gave us just a theme of Alteric Valley and maybe like a highlight card to give us a theme of the set, yeah. I don't think that's going to be a problem. But if they decided to give us a handful of cards where we can kind of start envisioning a new way to play Hearthstone, mm -hmm. people are going to want to watch an old, what they consider an old meta if they are thinking about new cards. So I think the, the smart way I would do it, if I was Team 5, is I, I would maybe announce that Alter Valley is coming out, give us some information on the, you know, the, the release schedule, that kind of stuff. Maybe next Monday there would be a, a new video or blog put out. And then stop talking about it. Let Wait, everybody. What, what do you mean by next Monday? Do you mean the day people are listening to this on download or the following Monday? The following Monday. Well, see, the following so this... Monday, Master's Tour will be over, right? Because oh, isn't exactly. it the 19th through that's, the 21st? That's my point. So on Tuesday, the 16th, they put in the, the patch comes out. Yeah, that has, yeah, yeah. They put in the show that notes. That has the balance changes. And, and, and the, the patch notes will have that the new set is whatever it is, Alter Valor or whatever it is, and maybe a trailer and a couple teaser things to give us an idea what the set's about, and then an announcement that they're going to have uh, 
more information about the new set on Monday the 22nd. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, so then, and then we you start know, reveals, you know. Yeah, then we start reveals that week. Yeah. So we know at that point, oh, okay, we don't need to worry about trying to look for information on the new set. They're going to tell us on the 22nd. We can go back to focusing on watching Masters Tour Undercity. I guess. I mean. And then if, if they start reveals on the 23rd, we're looking at a December 7th, maybe. Release date, yeah. Maybe Which, a December 14th release date. I, I'd be surprised if it goes that late. I, I like the December 7th I think it, target yeah. date. I agree. It, they've been behind so long, they need to get back on schedule, especially with holidays, because Ben yeah. Lee's big thing is he, he wants to make sure people aren't working on the holidays. Yeah, yeah. So, so. all but right. That's, that's my thoughts on it. Uh, yeah. You got anything else on uh, the new possible set or release you want to talk about? No, I think that nails it. I like I said, I like the December seventh possible release date. Um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens over the next three weeks. Because, I mean, realistically, one, two, three, yeah, it's, uh, this is the end of the week. So starting next week, that's only like three weeks away. So, yep, I'm excited. All right, now this, gang. Uh, we're not going to have, huh? We're not. We're not going to have a standard uh, play portion with with standard decks this week. We're going to do battlegrounds, right? We are, we are going to play some battlegrounds. So, uh, if you are joining us on YouTube, stay tuned for the live play portion of our show. If you are listening via our audio podcast, we'd like to thank you for joining us. And remember, you can follow us on Twitter at Hero Power underscore Cast where you can find all of our past episodes on YouTube at youtube.com slash ecmmogamers or on our website at heropowerhs.com. If you enjoy the show, you'd like to help support and improve it, you can do so by joining our Patreon at patreon.com slash heropower. And we'll see you all again next week. And don't forget, log in, do your Merc dailies, then jump into Standard, and don't forget to use your Hero Power. Alrighty. Has my camera been frozen for you this whole time? It has. Well, not the whole time, but for a while. It's working for me now. Yeah, I had a, I heard a word weird beep at one point. Okay. So, I, I should probably. Was, I think it was a Skype issue. I think Skype yeah. tried to drop out again. It did, but uh, but you were still working fine. It looked like my camera stopped. Oh, okay. Oh, like you're frozen it. on my side. That I'm. Oh, saying. I know. I know. Yeah. I don't. I was trying to see if I could fix it while you were talking, but uh, no idea why. But we'll just say it's an OBS issue because OBS is garbage. Oh wait, did I just say that on recording? Yes, I did. Uh, All right. Funny. But okay, yeah. So you are uh, getting into battlegrounds? Yes, I am. Looking I am for an opponent or hopping in now. To fight with the spectate boss, which hasn't been very bad lately. It's, they've finally gotten that fixed, I think. The spectate stuff. I don't see any of the bugs that I used to. Yeah. Yeah, I think they've done a good job with uh, spectate. So, all right. We are looking at Volgian Cookie, which is a new hero, Galewing, and Cthulhu. Hmm. In this, Cookie's been, in this we have beasts, demons, elementals, murlocs, and quillbore. I haven't played with Cookie yet. I have I not either. All of them. And I they say Cookie, Cookie is really good. Let's let's try Cookie. Why not? I like it. Now, the, the hero power is throw a minion in your pot. And I haven't seen any confirmation of this. I think you can actually throw one of Bob's tavern minions in the pot Oof. but i don't know i've not seen cookie played i haven't either let's see what happens but that's the first thing i want to try to see if we can throw one of bob's tavern and so we'll pick what minion we want first and then see if we can throw one of the other ones in okay well it's green meaning we can use it so let's buy a minion first. Uh, 
do we want to go demons or it, are, are, are we safest just to go with the acolyte? Uh, I think safe bet is the acolyte, but so probably the, the best acolyte. bet's the wrath weaver. Okay, either way you want to go. And then, do we want to eat the beast? Okay, we can. Cool. Nice. So that puts beasts in the pool. So from way I've, the way I interpret it is the three types are the three we you're going to discover. Yeah. So our first slot should probably be uh, a a beast when we get to discover. I think this might get nerfed. As you guys saw, we just fought against Diablo because Diablo is still Ooh. in the in the pool. Uh so we're just gonna upgrade here. Do we do we do we wanna try to focus on beasts in our discover pool or we wanna bury it and put Murlocs in? Uh I think we just go beast here. I think so too. Do we eat the other hyenas? I think so. so. Now do we freeze for the, the cat or do we just leave it? Uh I think we can leave it. So, my question is this. We've eaten two hyenas. Are those hyenas still in the pool? I think they're still in the pool, but but they'll also be in the Discover pool. Discover's going to be any beast. It's not just hyenas. Yeah, yeah. I think they're still technically in a pool. I'm not sure how the pool works. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. But we haven't seen any demons we at haven't all. seen any demons uh nobody that i see is going demons do we take the second wrath weaver here and then i like it and then what do we eat what about the acolyte for a neutral i'm kind of curious how that'll change up so go ahead and eat the acolyte because we're gonna have to oh you can't has to be oh, a tribe. Can't. Okay. Well, that that didn't anything. We're gonna get something though. Ooh. Sewer rat. Probably sewer rat's the best value. Yeah, we left some money floating, but that's we fine. We did. Yeah, it hits the time-consuming uh, hero power. Lose this one. He is spinning all of his stats onto this one. On the acolyte. acolyte. Yeah. I don't know how smart that is. But there's no Murloc, so you're not there's, gonna have... there's a demon, and it's a good demon. We got a demon. So we're gonna buy I think it. We buy it. The question I have is do we refresh the tavern trying to get a demon that we can eat? Uh, I do we, I think so. Okay. I think so. Because we can, we can sell the rat. There's a demon. Yep. Do we eat it or do we buy it? I think we buy it. Because here's what we could do. We can play this demon, sell the rat, buy the relaxer to get blood gems to put on our wrath weaver, and eat the imprisoner, putting demon in our pool. I don't hate that. Because we're going to tavern up at least once before we get... A discover. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we eat it and then we refresh the tavern to see if we can get a demon. Because our next... Yeah, so... Yeah, freeze it. Perfect. So we're going to taverns here up by the ra by the, the weaver and discover from a tier four, right? Yes. That's next turn? That is next turn. Oh, oh, we got we're facing Diablo. Yes. So if we win this, which we are gonna, Tie. so we don't have to win this. We have to beat that demon. Correct. So if we beat that demon, that's because a lot of people think you have to beat Diablo. You don't. You just have to kill the demon. So Tavern's here first. Okay. You know what you're doing. I, I've done this once or twice. Yeah. No demons, but there's a Hydra. Yeah, I kind of like the Hydra. I yeah, think it's probably the best of the options. Yeah, and then we want to eat that demon, right? Yep. We want to eat so that demon. One more demon? 
Yeah. Do we play the sigil of hell? <sighs> We're facing Diablo. We just faced him and beat his warband. He had a lot of small minions. I think we do. Because he had a lot of small minions, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah. did. I think we need to try to eat a quill bore or put a quill bore in the pot and see if we can get another uh, sun sun razor, sun baker, whatever. Sun bacon relaxer? Yeah. yeah. I don't hate that. And maybe throw some uh, blood gems on that uh, cave hydra? Yeah, that's an option. Ooh. That's not a bad spread. Well, that's the spread. We got a kill. Okay, we got one. Okay, that, that'll that help us. Yeah. We don't win this, but we're not going to take too much damage. That's, that's correct. Now, this isn't like the the fake Diablo. This is a real That's Diablo. the real Diablo, yeah. The fake Diablos always have 666 six, six health. Oh, there's our quill bore I think we eat. Yeah, let's start there. Nathrazim soul, or Soul Devourer. Probably the Overseer. And then we buff up the, uh, the Taunt. Well, let's... Yeah, let's let's see what the tavern gives us first. There's another Ooh, there's prisoner. Another. Take I take it. Do Ooh. we take the soul juggler? Well, we have him prisoner, so I think we do. Yeah. And I think we we actually keep the Nathrazim in there, moving further to the left, so he dies early. Yeah. yeah. And then we got. We want to eat. What do we want to eat here? An elemental. We've already. Eaten oh, we've this. Already, That's right. We we ate already. Yeah. That's right. We ate already. It's a very interesting. It's interesting because obviously you want to buy the best minion in the tavern. Yeah. But you also sometimes want to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. So Guff is going demons. This is interesting. That was good. That was real good, Cleve. Nice. Yep. Not the most points, but... No. You win by chipping away. That's right. All right. Ooh. We definitely want that. Yeah, because that's going to keep us from taking damage. Then do we just tavern up? I think so. Do we eat the murloc just to get, ahead and get the pool started? Yeah, yeah. You just want to get the pool started. I think you have to eat every turn. Oh. Uh, our positioning. Do we not want the soul juggler all the way to the right? Well, I mean, I guess we could. Do you want to... Put the Imprisoners here? Either way, the point is, is the Imprisoners are going to drop... Obviously, Imprisoners are going to attack, so they'll die. But they're going to drop 1-1s, one and we want the 1-1s one to, to attack before the Juggler. Yeah, that's true. Probably going to be selling the uh, the Cave Hydra soon. Cause yes, yes. We're not going to be able to scale the damage to the Cave Hydra. But I like that we are now at a place where we can buy and sell demons and prevent damage to ourselves. Yes, 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 yes. And we, well, we're down to 28 from self-damage mainly. Yeah. So that's not bad. Normally at this stage of the game, I'm down to like 17, 18. All right. I I do think that the uh, uh, Catherine Natir was a great addition. Yeah. Because it allows you to have that that damage prevention before you can get Malganus. Oh, that was good. Nice. It. Yep. 
<laughs> Excellent. Yep. So, let's see, we are, let's see what we got here. Oh, we want both of those, don't we? Or do we do we buy the uh, ring matron and and I think we pot yeah the I don't devour? I think we yeah I think we hero power the devourer. Okay, so we're gonna buy the matron. We're gonna hero power the devourer. We're gonna sell so, the hydra. So hold on, do we play the ring matron and then just tavern tier up? I, I don't hate that. I was actually just thinking about that. Stay out of my head. It's a scary place. Because we're going against the fake Diablo. Fake Diablo. And I think we're in a good position against them. So we want put her... we want Ring Matron to die later. Yeah. We want room on the board. So that's so, perfect. Position. So what about this? Do we sell the overseer to make room? Make room for what? So, well, if she dies first, she's gonna drop two imps. Only one would hit the board. That would be them attacking first and hitting her. The likelihood of that happening before our four four overseer kills itself is low. Okay. I think if we roll the first attack, he dies first. We have the room. Okay. If they attack first, they have a one in seven chance of killing her. So that's that would be a low roll for that to happen. I don't think it's worth sacrificing the minion and sacrificing first attack. So if we attack first, heck, even if he attacked first, he wouldn't have killed. See, there we go. We're fine. And it did attack the matron, but it didn't kill it. Okay. We're looking really good here. Ah, those harpies. All right. Here we go. Oh, we got resummon. Oh, we got resummons. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. So we got give a friendly minion plus six plus six for next combat only. Yeah. I've heard there's things if you save up the uh, the prizes. I've never been Diablo and I've tried saving them up and nothing's happened. So do we buy the matron or do we pot the matron and see what we discover? I think we're better off buying the matron. Okay. So what I would do is buy the matron, sell the overseer. Before we refresh, because that'll put Overseer in the pot. Nothing. And we're trying to find demons at this point, right? Yeah. That's a demon. Taunt, after you play a demon, consume a minion in Bob's Tavern and gain its stats. It's, it's not as good as you'd think. Well, I've not getting it, got it to work. I mean, what if we play it, sell this Imprisoner, play the Matron... Okay, I like it. So yeah, go ahead and go ahead and buy it. Play it, sell the what? The five three in prisoner? Yeah. Because matron's better than prisoner anyways. It's an automatic upgrade. Eat the six six. Ah, uh, didn't eat six six. Uh refresh tavern. Cause we want to find a demon still, right? Yeah. No demon. There's a demon. Eat the eat the middle one, the, the Catherine Nathier. That'll give us discover. Okay. Yeah. That works. That works. We can sell the imprisoner for the uh the three nine. The yeah. Lord. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We win this one. This is pretty much a guaranteed win, I think. I don't think we'll lethal him. I think we can. There is a point where uh, the juggler loses its value, and we might need to sell the juggler. Yeah, yeah. Because three damage isn't going to be much here pretty soon. But our Wrath Weaver's getting huge. <laughs> so we took half his remaining health. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to buy the Void Lord. 
and then I think we just roll. Yeah. Nothing. Keep rolling. Roll. We eat, eat, the, that? eat the impressive trickster, yeah. I think so. Eh, none of those look good. Yeah. I don't like any of those. I mean, maybe, maybe the overseer for the buffs. So we're going to sell the imprisoner. Right. That's what I'm thinking. We're going to sell the imprisoner. We're going to buy the overseer. What are we we buffing? Insatiable, the far left. It's going to eat something. Let's refresh. I want to get good stats on. There's a pretty good stat. Ooh. Uh, yeah. I like Do this. we want to triple that? I wouldn't think. It, uh, yeah, that might not be a bad idea to triple it. So freeze this board then? Yeah, I think we freeze this board. Okay. I don't know how good that car, that minion is to triple. I don't know. Uh, I imagine it'll go from plus two attack to plus four attack for everything. So this sounds weird, but next turn I would sell the four four the the overseer. I know I know you'll sell him for nothing because we will be full of of gold. Yeah, but it'll allow us to play the Catherine the tier to get the buff, but it it might eat the other Catherine the tier. So maybe that's a risk. He's no, got no, machine no. guns going does we want hit we want his comp like we want him yeah i think he's got us here uh yeah no i mean it wasn't cut and dry nope close it was close Right. I think we just buy Catherine a tier and get the triple. Should we level first? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We can level first. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, it doesn't matter. We'll get a tier six. Oh yeah, level. you're you're right. Doesn't matter. But yeah, the way I was thinking could have bitten us. Uh, yeah, I'd play that first. I think I'm gonna roll first. Okay. Gives us some bigger options to try to eat something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. And they're tier six minions, so they're going to be more stats. Imp Mama Ooh, imp. or Famished Felbat. At the end of turn, each, friend, each friendly demon consumes. Ooh, that's a permanent thing. That is a permanent. So, do we play the Void Lord and sell it? Or do we sell think... off the ten, one of the matrons? I think we play. I think we sell off one of the matrons because the void lords are going to be taunts. And now refresh the tavern and eat. Uh, we don't really need to eat anything, do we? I don't think it'll hurt. Yeah. It just takes away one more. Yeah. More minion for the board to eat. Probably should have taken the the famished and moved him further to the left, facing the dead uh, crag. Yeah, she went to we beat him before. I think we're to the point now where we sell the soul juggler. I think you're right. I think soul juggler's not helping us enough. We're going to be better off with another demon. I think we'd be better off with another famished if we can find it. Oh, if we can find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, ask and you shall receive? Yeah. Take it. Let's look for another famished. Triple it. No. Uh, there's the. Uh, I mean, that's a buff, right? What about Arch Druid Hommel? 
We'll I don't take hate it, it. We refresh, see what we get. I mean, well, oh, no, because then they're all going to get eat. They are all going to be eaten, but they're all going to be demons, and demons are pretty good stats usually. There's the famished Felbat. So, what do we do? We sell to try to get it. I don't think so. I think I don't we think wait. So I think we freeze this board. No, if they're all getting eaten. Oh, you're right. They're all getting eaten. I mean, what? One, two, three. It might not get eaten. Five are going to get eaten. So we could get lucky. That's possible. Let's see what happens. We could get lucky that that's the only one that doesn't get eaten. There's two in there. Okay, nope, they, it got eaten. They ate both of the ones I was thinking of. We honestly don't even need the insatiable Urzul no more. We don't need it. That's true. It's good stats, but Felbat does the exact same thing. Oh my goodness. Got it. Yeah. The question is, does he have enough to kill us? Nope, it's going to be a draw. Yeah, and we get the bonus. Give your minions plus three attack for next combat only. Hey, we still got the famished. Oh, we did. Okay, cool. Now we sell the arch druid. Do we sell the insatiable or do we wait? I think we wait because it's going to eat right now as we play it. But we want to play our triple reward, right? Yeah. In Mama. Mama. Yeah. Play it. Then roll. Do we take yeah, the Soul Devourer and eat the Insatiable? Of course, we don't have uh, room to play it. Soul Devourer is bad. Uh, maybe we eat it in our pot. Okay. Soul, Soul, Soul Devourer, it just takes stats. Nathrazine or Maxna. Maxna, we might need a Poisonous. So I think we take it just in case. All right. Refresh. We want to find the best stats. Probably not that. That's good, but I don't think it's the best. Not, no, that. not that. Not that. Uh, not that. That? That's not bad. There's two six attacks in there and a four four. Yeah. And we're up against a dead person here, so I think we save our our treasures when we go up against this. Diablo. Yeah, it's weird that we're up against a dead person. Normally when you're in the top two, you're not supposed to. But it's because uh, Diablo's probably facing evil Diablo. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. No, we just did that. That's true. All right. Uh... We're looking for triples, right? Yeah. We're going to go ahead and eat a demon. Yeah. Want we'll to grab that? Yeah, I don't hate it. Grab that. Then refresh. That's not bad stats. Do we want to roll again or? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. Uh, do we play our stuff? I think we play our stuff. Give your minions plus three attack next combat. Give a friendly minion plus six plus six for this combat only. Who do you think needs it? Um, I don't know if it matters. Probably the uh, Void Lord, so he stays alive longer. Okay. Let's see, he has to tie attack and... And his death rattle gives three minions. Yeah, yeah. Which those those one threes end up being uh, five threes because of the Nathrin tier. I actually think we're gonna move 
them down. I, I don't hate that. So that they spawn later. I don't hate that. Maybe. I mean, it may not matter if uh, it a taunt, gets attacked yeah. first. Yeah. It does have one poisonous. I think that's the order, though. Oh, that's a big poisonous, too. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if we have the stats to... I don't think we've got the stats to beat this guy. I don't know if we're going to have the stats to beat this guy. He's good. Yeah. Is that lethal? No, two points off. I don't even know if Maxno would help us there. Yeah, no, he's got so much... Uh, he's got so many... Uh, D uh, divine shields. Do we take yeah. Arch Art Druid Hommel? We can. I don't know what that'll give us. What, what we would sell to open that up. I mean, it'd have to be the Imp Mama. Or the Void Lord. The what? Oh, the Void Lord? Or the Matron, either. I, probably I, I think we sell the Imp Mama and we look for the triple on the Void Lord. Okay. I don't hate it. There's a triple. I'm just trying to envision a way that we win. My Exna... Do we toss a magnet Maxna on the, the I think so. Yeah. I just, I'm just trying to envision a way we win. I'm yeah, I, I don't know that there is. I think we just have to settle for second. Hit the okay, hit the taunt. Wait a minute, yeah, wait, wait a, a minute. minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did we win? No, he's at 17 no, health. I mean, you won this fight. Okay, you won this fight. Do you do a left? Uh, no. You're, you're cutting out. I can barely hear you now. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it sounds like your uh, mic's not right hey, in front of you. Skype. It's probably Skype. For, uh, there you go. Now you sound better. Yeah, it's probably Skype. Could be my network. So we're playing the fake Diablo. Huh, that could be a problem. I think we might be good where we're at. Eat that demon. Or oh, oops. All right. I'll eat that demon. Yeah, that works. Battlemaster? Yeah, I don't really like any of those. Neither. Yeah, I think we just go with that and see what happens. See if we can pull another high roll. Okay. Wow, I did not expect us to win that last fight. My ex really mattered. It did. She killed their last big taunt. Yeah. Without my ex, though, we didn't win that. I mean, we got some lucky attacks. We avoided that, that poisonous really well. Yeah. 
it doesn't have divine shield. You're right. Now he's got two taunts. Or yeah. two. Now he's got two poisons. Poisons. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hit the poisonous. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. No, we still lose. Nope. No, we tie. Okay. What is that? So uh, give your minions plus ah. six attack next combat only. Wanted to do the one damage to hopefully hit their their poison their taunt uh not taunts. Dying shields. Really just looking for stats now, right? Well, I was looking for maybe another makes now to golden it. I don't know if that would really make much of a difference. I mean we can. We can look for it. I don't I I don't hate that. Yeah, eat, eat a demon on the way. What do you think of those stats? I like those stats. Remember, we're getting double those stats now. Because it's golden. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I like those stats. That's 8 8 8 8 6 4 8 8 6 6 2 6 is the only low one. Yeah. And that's all of our demons. Because uh, we don't, we have two non-demons, so... Right. All of our demons will get buffs. Hopefully we can avoid hitting the uh, ghoul. That's the only bad stats. Oh, no, there's... No, that's the first mind. one we'll that gets eaten. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, he added oh. two more. This is it. This decides it. Yes, it does. You get two taunts this time. That's something. Ah! It's a bad roll. Okay. Yeah, bad roll. That's steel, though. That was good. That was as close as I think it could be. Yeah. I mean, we had a chance. We still had like a 14% chance to win. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. That's our my first match with Cookie, so. Yeah, I've not ever played with Cookie. I don't even remember playing against them yet, so that's cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, so far we're uh, as far as battlegrounds on the show, we're uh, we're pretty good. <laughs> Our yeah, record I mean, is pretty good. You're pretty good. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not bad per se. Like I'm I'm sitting at a 4500 rating, but I probably play more battlegrounds than you because yeah, you don't yeah, play yeah. a lot. So you play build more quality battlegrounds, where I just play more battlegrounds. So. <laughs> So, all right, gang, I think that's going to uh, do it for us this week. Um, yep. If you have any questions or comments about the show, please email us at heropowerpodcast at gmail.com. Please uh, hit that subscribe button below on YouTube if you've not done so already. And uh, if you are interested in more details about our patron-only Discord, head on over to patreon.com slash heropower. And we'll see you all again next time. Hi guys, I'm waving and you can't see me waving.